So yeah, we're moving out the house and gathering all the stuff that we have collected throughout the years, selling some on Facebook Marketplace and just trying to get rid of most of the stuff that we have. And you know, it's, it's an emotional side of things when you're moving, right? It's not just physical, but also emotional too, because you know, you get tied to these things, these material possessions, and they're not supposed to own you, you're supposed to own it. And when you're trying to get rid of material things, you start to think like, oh man, this is my personal identity, this is me, I am this welcome sign, I am this basket, I am this vase, right? And it's not the way how it should go, you know, it's, hey, it's a material thing, it could go away, I'm not going to take this thing with me to the grave. None of these things are supposed to identify me, right? Uh, things we got from home goods, from Ashley Furniture to Ikea, these things are just literal things. They can go and it's fine because I'm not defined by these material things. Uh, I think we attach ourselves too much to material possessions. But it feels good to get rid of them, but also it kind of sucks because, you know, you collected these things and they're these artworks, they, they, they represent you, right? Especially like this water one, right? Like you got to go with the flow sometimes and it can crash or it can flow. You just got to go with it. But yeah, it's just my take on you know, moving and stuff and material possessions. What's up, you guys? So I'm trying to move this desk all the way down and we are moving and this is going to be a struggle but you know what taking you guys along the journey showing y'all what i'm doing this is an ikea desk and i really hope i don't scratch anything okay. we're making some progress it's gonna be a... this sucks how you don't have two people huh man okay oh easy money look at that Oh, I definitely scratched that. All right. Yeah, maybe I should tilt it. All right. Oh. One hand. Okay, yep. There you go. All right, so I currently have most of my belongings right here. We got the success canvas, and we got all the other stuff over here. I still got to take that thing down. And, oh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Moving is very emotional, but physical mostly, but I don't know, in my head, it's like, man, uh, we moved in here with the best intentions and stuff. And the top stressful things in life is like moving, divorce, death, and uh, yeah, it's just job loss, right? But it is what it is, uh, we're moving everything out the house and I'm just gonna show you guys everything that's gonna be moved out in a couple weeks. And it's gonna be pretty fun. But there definitely is that emotional side where you just have all these memories ringing back when you're, when you're bringing everything into the house, everything's so happy and, and yeah, they just, start to circle back in the mind when you're taking the things out of the house versus bringing them in. There's a duality to this life. You know, joy, happiness, uh, thrill, right? When you're moving everything in, decorating everything, buying everything from home goods and going to Target to go get some more decorative stuff. And it's all this buy, 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 you know, gimme, 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 take, take, take. But then, I don't know, when you start moving stuff out, now it's like, get rid of this, get rid of that, sell this, get rid of that. And I don't know, it's a very freeing kind of thing, but also bittersweet and sad because, you know, you feel like you're tied to these objects and these, these things, right? But these things, these material things, they start to own you, right? And that's not what life is all about. Life is all about like experiences and enjoying things and going out to see the world. That's a thrill for me. Everyone has their own personal opinion on like travel or life, right? So 
that's just my two cents, but it is kind of sad just moving all this stuff and yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, but it is what it is. Got to move on. Got to move forward. And I'm not saying that I'm happy all the time, right? I'm joyful, right? There's this one thing where it says you're happy a third of the time, okay a third of the time, and you're down a third of the time. And if the ranges are a little bit off, then, you know, there's something wrong. Not 100% of the time I'm feeling joyful or happy or, you know, all thrilled and all. I try my best, right? But the reality is we're human, we're emotional, right? And now it's just one of those days where you feel emotional, you know? Because moving has that tendency to bring all the memories back. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Check out Oppa. Hi, buddy. Hi, everyone. This is Appa. He is a Russian blue cat. Hi. Oof. He is shy. You are a shy boy, huh? <laughs> this is going to be one hell of a ride, but I'm going to take you all through it. Guys, you may have seen in the previous videos that this had a lot of stuff, a desk, and now it's gone. So I gotta get that thing down, but I got a drill and I don't have a drill right now. Actually, it's in the garage, but we ain't trying to drill right now. We don't have, we don't have any cardboard boxes anymore and we're moving, but it's okay because we have the next alternative, <laughs> trash bag. So it is currently like 10 p.m. May, I think 20th. And it's uh, really quiet right now because it's uh, middle of the night and I'm trying to move all this stuff without making much noise because we've got people sleeping and all that. Yeah, so that's where I'm at with this. I'm just taking out all this patio furniture and moving the stuff in. All this is really dusty, so. All right, here we go. And obviously, I don't have anyone helping me because it's in the middle of the night. And uh, we'll, we're probably gonna hire movers and stuff, but... Oh, shit. That's gonna happen at a later time. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> I am tired. But you know what? We got stuff to do. We got, we got things to do. Your boy sweat. All right, major problem. I can't get this egg thing out of here because it obviously needs to get taken out by these screws right here. But you know what? We're done for tonight. We're gonna continue this when I'm off. <sighs> so yeah, uh, we are almost done moving all the stuff. It took me a long while to bring everything from the upstairs to the downstairs, but you know, it is uh, it's a process, just like anything. It's gonna take time and nothing happens overnight. Yeah, we're doing our best with what we can with the situation we've got. The whole Tesla layoff thing, it's been since April 15th, so it's been more than a month. And you know, you get your ups and you get your downs. And uh, lately I've been getting a lot of the downs. Uh, Definitely had my fair share of crying and stuff. And it's just because, you know, you put in five years into a company and it takes a big toll on you when they chuck you out like they did and uh, so unexpected and stuff like that. So uh, for the people that commenting like, hey, if Tesla took you back, would you go back? Uh, probably not from the way that they handled the situation of like, you know, just chucking me out like that. 
I wouldn't go back to a company that has done that. And, uh, you know, even if they pay super well, it's the level of care that they're supposed to have with employees, right? That's the type of thing that kind of irked me a little bit, kind of bothered me with the whole Tesla layoff thing. Everything happens for a reason. Everyone always says that. And, you know, you have to believe in that, that your path is being directed to something greater. And, you know, doing this YouTube thing, it's been kind of fun. And like, I enjoy doing it. And I really like supplements at the GNC job that I have as a store manager. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Got to move on. Uh, Got to keep moving forward. Uh, we almost out of this house. We're packing everything up. Uh, luckily, uh, we got a place. Uh, my parents and my little brother are going to move into a, a place. And then uh, I'm going to be living in the car full time. And we'll see how it goes. I really hope it goes well. But so far, those test car camps have been doing awesome. I'll keep you guys in the loop and updated if I continue to keep doing it. So, but I'm really strong and head forward that I could do this. I could live in my car and stuff. It's not bad as long as you got a routine and stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, go ahead and give this video a like, uh, comment your thoughts. And uh, you know, if you're new, yeah, it's uh, been a long journey and I can't wait to show y'all the next journey, which is full-time car camp. Um, but catch y'all in the next one. Thank you. Peace.